Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got an item to share with you today from S. Gobi. As you can tell, I've written it on the packaging. Um, this is a single painting, but not a single painting. So, a single but not a single. It's been a while since I've unboxed one of these, um, but this one really caught my eye. So I decided why not? So it is poured glue and it has 20 colours, but this one is actually a multi-panel. I do like a good multi-panel, I find. Um, I often split them up into five different paintings. They can be nice if you want to do something, um, you know, to vary something up, but still get a big painting done. So in this instance, you know, you could decide whichever section you decide to do first, you then could do a different painting in between and then do another. But in turn, you end up with a nice paint, large painting that makes a gorgeous piece of artwork but you don't feel like you're doing the same colours and the same painting all the time. So I say this one does come with 20 colours. I'm not sure if it has DMC numbers. No, it doesn't have DMC numbers. It is around. You do get two toolkits. So if you are a sharer of diamond paintings, um, then you could always potentially do a section with somebody else. Now, it's down as a 90 by 45, but that will be the full canvas size. So this one is just short of 15 by about 20. This one is about 15 by 30. And then we have 15 by 40. So 15 across for each of them by 20, 30, 40, 30, 20. Um, so quite nice sizes, especially as say, if you like to have the effect of a big painting, but maybe don't like to do a big painting, then this can be an ideal way to do it. You can of course do it as all, of, all in one, but let's have a look at the colors. I always mount these as well on foam board. So you can get big sheets of foam board, very similar. I use it for quite a few different projects. I've used it um, in my spare storage as well, my spare diamond storage. Um, but I use an adhesive, a spray adhesive glue on the back of the canvas and stick it to the foam board and then cut it round. And it just gives that little bit of dimension to help pop the painting off the wall. And then I pop them up with command strips. But we do have some lovely colors here. Oh, we do have a lot of this gray. Yep, that's all the same gray. And that's your background, is it? Yes, oh, we do have DMC numbers. Okay. We do actually have DMC numbers. So this is the symbol chart one to 20. And that's what I saw when I said we didn't have DMC numbers. However, in the bottom corner, it has the symbol with the DMC number. So even better. Uh, we do have, of course, 310, but I would expect that it's sort of a red um, and a gray. So number 11, is the symbol slash the slash symbol and the slash symbol is dmc number 762 which is this one so you do get quite a few bags i mean they're not full to burst in but you get two four six eight ten bags of that ten bags of the gray for a really nice background especially because gray is used in decorating quite a bit now we've got some nice sort of paler pinks but then we've got quite a few really nice shades of red we've got a dark green that'll go in with some of the shading i would have thought looks like it's in some of this shading around here gives those lines a bit of a pop we've got some more grays 
black we have two bags most of that will go in these two here um, and then we have some pinks and purples as well so really really nice colors what would I, I think I would do the big panel first. Now, quite often I start with a smaller panel. So I start at one side and I go through and then back down. Uh, it does depend on the image, but quite often I start with a small so I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Then if the most of the design is in the middle, then I will do the middle one before I then work down again. But in this instance, even though it is a very big part of the design in the middle, it is it is less less of a design because it's one big sort of block of an item with the little bit. Whereas here we've got butterfly and we've got swirls and all that sort of stuff. So there's quite a lot of blockiness in this section. So I think I would start on this section while I've got the excitement of starting a new image. And then I would either work out or I would, you know, if I wanted to vary it, I might go for a small one, then a big one, and then a small one and then the bigger one. Uh, but I think I'd start with this one. I definitely wouldn't end with this one um, because I feel on this design, it would, yeah, it would maybe make me think, eh? Um, starting with this one, uh, ending with this one because of the so much blockiness. Whereas if you do all the blockiness at the beginning, it, say, it's the excitement of a new painting and then you get the variety as you continue on, which means you don't get bored continuing on. Um, so the whole dotting process, I love anyway, really. Uh, so I will pop a link down below to this. Of course, this would make a gorgeous piece of artwork, maybe above a bed. Um, it would look really good. But thank you so much to FGOBI for sending me this so I can share it with you all. Say, I'll pop the link down below so that you can have a look at this one. Or, of course, you can go and have a browse. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.